Swanny, what are you putting on? Uh, I'm putting on the soundtrack to Pitch Perfect. Why? Because I love it. It's my favourite. Have you PB'd? Or have you been listening to any of these? I think I'm going to PB my snatch today, listening to Pitch Perfect. What do you do for, uh, for warm-ups? Uh, oh, they're generally pretty specific. I, the guys in the gym know that I do stupid shit. I like, like to warm up by dancing and running around. And then... Um, just something specific to the workout. I'll what do are you going to do for this one? Some thrusters and some pull-ups. <laughs> uh, no, I'll do a little bit of stretching and stuff and work on a few tight areas and then um, just some basic stuff. I might even work. Just something to get the heart rate up a little bit before the workout. I don't like to go and sort of shock myself with uh, a high heart rate workout like a like 13.5. So. Do you want to sweat before this workout? Or? Time I touch that track. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay. Okay. Ben, what are you doing for your warm up for this one? Uh, for the warm up, just trying to like activate all my shoulders, get nice and loose in my hip flexors, groin, work on that bottom position for the thrusters, and then I'll just get a bit more specific, go through the movements uh, a little bit lighter, and then we get a sweat on and ready to go. Do you want to be sweating before you hit this workout? A little bit, yeah. Just so I know I'm nice and warm and my heart rate's been up before it goes up in the workout. Um, so, <laughs> this is funny because I was like actually way over here in the stands. <laughs> <laughs> Just watching down. So who do we have here? Hey. Who do we have here? Um, <laughs> so that's Chad McKay. <laughs> what is he doing there in the corner? I don't know. I think he's tired. He did a lot of workouts. <laughs> so um, that's Rich, the champion. And where are you? And I'm, I'm about 100 metres that way in the stands, <laughs> crying because I was eliminated. Um, so that's right. And Panchik wasn't happy about that, so that's why he's... Because we're best buds. Um. <laughs> I actually ran with Rich for a while, Rich and Kalipa. Did you um, talk to them? Fun. Yeah, we chatted for a while and, and Rich is like, uh, yeah, you are not going to push myself or anything because it's, it's only the first day and all that. And then we'll just we'll just stick together and run this out. And we're like, sweet. And then we get like to the top of this massive hill and like, and everyone's like <sighs> breathing pretty hard. And Rich just goes, <sighs> and he's gone. And he just takes off and you don't see him again. And he picks up like 15 spots in the last four Ks or something. So <laughs> I came in, I ran, I finished Pendleton. And I was like, oh, thank God, it's finished. I was like, I came in, I think, came in on the run at like 22nd or something. I'm like, <sighs> The first thing I was like, Where, where's Chad? Is he still out there? <laughs> and they're like, oh yeah, he, he's over in the ice bath, buddy. He won. I was like, oh, of course he did. Yep. <laughs> How was it being out in front there, Chad, on the Pendleton? Uh, I, remember, uh, I remember talking with Swanee and, and Rob about um, kind of a bit of a strategy to uh, get out on the swim fast. And we got briefed and said we had to put our fins on, on the shore and then kind of walk in backwards because it was fairly rocky. And I was like, yeah, that's not going to happen. So I remember just uh, kind of cruising the soft sand run and then getting in the water and just, it was low tide, so the tide was on the way out. And we kind of just ran for probably about 20 or 30 metres through the rocks. There was a little uh, kind of um, a deep part of water and then we ran on the sandbank. And then I remember kind of seeing um, Rob on one side and then I just put my fins on past the brake a little bit and then we're in kind of clear water. Um, and then everyone else is still putting their fins on on the shore. And then, uh, yeah, kind of just swim felt good, got out of that and then uh, the bike ride. And then it all kind of started for me, um, just mentally more so than anything on the run. Um, and just kind of had to keep it together. Um, did you see anyone? So did you see Numi there, obviously? Were you passed him? Uh, well, I was behind Numi for about... 40 minutes, 
and then uh, kind of caught up to him and um, and then the first water station I remember getting to he said oh Spiel is just behind us and I, I was like I don't care who's behind us I'm just going to keep looking forward and just doing my thing relaxing and just worrying about what's in front and then uh, I remember one of the guys saying look it's all downhill from here he said there's about four miles to go and I was like four miles kind of converted in my head and I was like oh it's still a long way to go and then um, yeah just had a few goo packs on the way and then um, thought I've just got to I've just got to go and then I just kind of stuck to my own game plan just started to stay as relaxed as I could and then the last maybe thousand meters I started to cramp up in my quads and then um, luckily the finish line was just there and it was, it was fortunate to come first so it was cool what are you working on here Chad? Oh, buddy just uh just trying to loosen up thoracic so when that bar goes overhead it's a little bit easier yeah. do you have to do this every day Cassie? Most days. Every morning. Yeah. Do you miss your girlfriend? <laughs> no. <laughs> yes, I miss you. <laughs> She's gonna watch that. <laughs> We're engaged after the games. Right after the games. Yep. Yep. So we went to Disneyland and. So Cassie came over with you? Yeah. Yes, she came over. She arrived the Friday of the games, and she came. She actually came to the games with Chad's parents. So. Um, and then um, did the games and all that, and then we did the usual stuff after the games. We didn't have much time in the States, so... Um, we had, and how did you propose? Um, during the World of Colour show at Disneyland, because I'm fucking romantic. <laughs> did you get on your knee? Hey? Did no, you get no, no I'm not that romantic. <laughs> <laughs> Too many people, mate. I'm gonna be embarrassed. <laughs> so I just, uh, yeah, no, just trying to make it as romantic as possible without being too cliche, I guess. Some water. How do you want to be judged? That's my question to you. Anyway, I'm not paid. Alright. Sorry? Anyway. Okay, I'm not paid. Do you want me to start shouting at you if you're sorry? Oh, definitely. Definitely. Okay. Um, I'm going to be doing 8 7 on everything. Okay. So, just keep me. What goes through your mind, Brandon, like minutes before you're going to hit this workout? Why do I do this stuff? <laughs> nah. And why do you do it? It's fun. I don't know. Um, just thinking of what i got to do. Um, yeah. Nothing really, I try, I try to keep it clear. Just in my head, just think go, go, go. Who do we think is going to win it? Ben Gerard. Ben Gerard. He's beat me too many times now. Oh, I'd love to see the big man get up, Chato. But uh, probably the little fellas, Benny Garrard, Brendan Clark. We'll be pretty close. Yeah. Um, my money's with Benny. He's got someone to prove. Chad, for sure. <laughs> Benny? Who do you think? I, I think Brendan's actually going to be the dark horse. Um, Chatter. Standing up in front of him, they're not going to be able to get a good. Hey guys, who's going to touch Ben Garage? <laughs> <laughs> Are warm, so we're gonna get straight into it. Afterwards, we're gonna have a QA. We're gonna let them catch their breath. They're gonna do a little QA with all five guys. And then uh, Brandon Swan and Chad McKay are doing a snatch off. And they've got they're both looking to hit PRs. Obviously, a little bit of competition between them. Okay, so we're gonna go straight into it. Uh, first person we got in is Jace Haywood. Give him a round of applause. The next one is Ben Swan. Ben Garrett. But um, yeah, it's more of a just got to reassess my goals. It's a more long-term approach now, okay. and um, that's just been <coughs> sort of hard to deal with. But yeah, it's not going to stop me. So.